funded by cubicles and the spacing. And yeah, there's 160 cub spaces in the shed. Um, basically, uh, originally, we were, this was to be the green passage, and we had a, a large straw area on um, the far side. And um, basically, we changed it around, and we put a smaller straw area at the top of the so basically what you're saying, Sean, is uh, the feed passage now was meant to be a straw bed. Yes. Where we are standing right now was meant to be the feed passage. So this double line of cubicles was not here. So the cows were feeding out here and the cows were feeding in here with three lines of cubicles in the shed. Yes. Which now is more cost effective with the amount of cubicles we have in the shed. Exactly, yeah. And, um, and we have a lesser straw area. We, we'll have more cows on cubicles than on straw now. We only use straw here for other um, cats. Obviously, straw is going to become more expensive in time to come. Harbour trail location. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have facilities now where you didn't have before? No, we didn't have before. We were very much um, under pressure in the autumn, in the springtime, if we got bad weather. Um, like, we would always have to leave some cows out. Obviously the Bristol Board will tell its tale. Yeah, hopefully the Bristol Board will be a good job to keep the cow position back that she dug into the passage. Yeah. Look, I, I mean, um, the cow are very happy with the Access to the feed passage and they'll have access to the outside feed passage as well. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Get a clear one on the feed passage then to get the cows into or to get feed into the cows by the cows around the ship. Feed passage is um Sleds. You have your tractor sleds, obviously, where we're yes, uh, crossing over. Yeah, we're crossing over. Uh, and right. you're integrating into the old uh, milking cabin down there, which was. Cheese um, gate here is uh, at the back just to create a separation between the cows waiting for milking and cows coming out for milking that are exiting the parlor just to allow, it, um, uh, allow each 
a separation between the Cubs that are making and the Cubs making. Well, Sean, thanks very much for uh, the tour of your new building, your new development. Best of luck with it. And thanks for all the business for the other engineer. Hi, welcome, Vincent. Yeah, we're very happy with um, uh, O'Donovan's, all the stuff we got off them, and we're happy with all the other contractors who work for us during the build. And let's hope it will all work out successfully. Um, and I'm sure it will work well. And Jim, you must be working there. And Jim. <laughs>